All right, fine, none of that. Oh no, my glasses are smudged. No, sorry. <laughs> Hello again everyone and welcome back to iFilm Things, I am Philip and today I'm going to show you how to do a very simple Loki style intro title sequence. And I am joined by Kinky Girl. Say hello. Or not. Ah, stop whacking my face. This is a very simple one, but it's also going to be very time consuming. So in the source monitor, create a new text layer and then type out Loki, or whatever it is you want it to say. So we're going to open up the essential graphics panel and we're going to just create the base look by changing the font size and the font tracking until you're happy with how the spacing is. Make sure, make sure the text is in the middle of the screen and the individual letters are far apart as this will help us out later on. Next, in the effects control panel of our Loki text, we're going to make a keyframe in the source text at the start of the clip. And this is what is going to enable us to create the font changes like in the Loki intro. Uh-oh. <laughs> so with your first letter selected, in this case the L, go 10 frames forward in time, make, an, make a keyframe and then change the font. Then go another 10 frames forward in time, make another keyframe and change the font again and do this for as long as you want. Speaking of fonts, if you have an extensive font library, choose about 10 frames you want to use beforehand and then keep notes somewhere of what they are. Or you can go to a font website and then just download some fonts you like from that. Or you can just scroll randomly over the font selection bar and just see what you get, like a roulette. Next, we're going to select the O and then go over all of our keyframes again, changing the font each time and make sure it's a different font from the L at that moment. Once you're done with the O, do the same to the remaining letters. And don't forget to highlight the letter you want to change before you change it. Then, with all the letters done, apply the Gaussian blur effect to the text layer and whack it up to a really high number like about 450. And set the blend mode to screen. Next, duplicate the text layer and then set the blur effect on the top clip to about 15 and then set the blend mode back to normal. Then go to the effects panel and apply the rough and edges effect to your top clip. The default looks pretty good, but you can always just mess around with it and see what you get. Then right click in the project panel and create a new adjustment layer and drag and drop it over your text clips and then apply the noise effect to it. And once you've done that, set the noise to about 30 or higher. I definitely recommend higher though. If you want to get as close as you can to the actual intro, we need to look at the details. Looking at it again, you can see that there are a few textured backgrounds and you can download a couple of those and then put them underneath all of our clips on the timeline. Also, the shadows seem to be a bit blue and the highlights seem to be a little bit yellow. So with, an so with another adjustment layer on top of everything else, we're going to open up the Lumetri color panel. And this will let us add some blue into the shadows and some yellow into the highlights. This already looks great, but we are missing the grungy, scratchy effect. Now, you can either download a scratch video or you can make one yourself. Place yet another adjustment layer on top of everything else and then apply the VR fractal noise effect to it. Then change the fractal type to strings, set the contrast to 400 and the brightness to minus 100. Animate the evolution over time, set the opacity to 50 and set the blend mode to screen. And just like that, the intro is done. I hope you enjoyed the video. This, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to try and emulate something that I thoroughly enjoy. And I hope it helped you in any way, shape or form. If it did, you know what to do. And my apologies for missing last week's video. It's been a little bit hectic with the new job, but I'm going to do a video every other week for the next couple of weeks. Then I'm gonna go back to the one video a week format once I've gotten my groove back. And as always, stay safe, stay creative. Oh my, that went off. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!